our pond overflow after a rainstorm. Heck yeah. Wow. Isn't this just gorgeous? It's on the back side of our pond. So when it overflows, this is how it looks. It's beautiful. No more Mountain Dew for this dog. What is she doing? She wants to burn rubber in the, <laughs> in the mud hole. <laughs> She's doing that on purpose. She's hitting the mud. No. What are you doing? She loves water. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Back at the trailer demo today. So we got some stuff in store for you. So stay tuned. Turn bottle on. Now the oxygen is at 40. You can turn that bottle on, yeah? Yeah, right about there, huh? Yeah, yeah? Yeah. All right. We're getting somewhere. Get that flame up there just a little bit, yeah? Turn that oxygen on. So good to finally have this trailer frame cut up. We're gonna keep this front portion in uh, one piece instead of cutting out the middle sections like we did with the rest. Um, so Marcel can just drag it out of here. It's a pretty good little frame. I mean, we could do a lot of things with that. Build a little tiny house on it or Hmm, what else could we do? I mean, there's so many Put options. Put on it make it a portable chicken coop. Ooh, a portable chicken coop. Now we just gotta figure out where we're gonna put it and how we're gonna move it. Probably the tractor, of course, but um, you never know with Marcel and his ideas, so. <laughs> we have a lot of options. We do like have to try options. new things, man. Yeah. Maybe we try to move this like the like the Egyptians did the pyramids. Yeah. Elephants, right? 
I don't know what they use. Like stones or something. Are you sure it wasn't aliens? All right, so we got the truck here and they're gonna drain our tank and we're gonna see what's going on. Hey friends and family. So we just had Dawson Septic just leave. Um, they pumped our tank. They said that the tank was a small one. So at this point we have some things to consider as far as if we wanna put a bigger system in and if we wanted to relocate it. So that gives us some things to consider and some options. What, boop boop? What you doing? Well, friends and family, we move one more day closer to our home build. I'm super excited to be this close. I think tomorrow we'll be moving some of the framing out and uh, maybe possibly even get into some of the chicken stuff. We don't have a whole lot of modifications to do, but we are going to do some things to kind of give the little chickies places to escape from the big chickens when we integrate them. So we'll be putting some things together in there. We've been discussing using an, an additional little coop inside of the coop, but we're still undecided what we're gonna do. Um, this is a consideration that we have right now. We would put a back on it, cut probably a smaller door in it, just give the little chicks the access that they need into it. And then maybe put a hole in the front of the coop over there so they could get out. I'm not sure. We'll, we're just discussing it at this point. Because um, we'll be cutting into the hoop coop. So we want to make sure that we're doing what we want as a future situation. Because it seems like um, I'm going to have to do it again. Because I'm raising eight, another 21 chickens. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these chickens, you guys. I got 21 chickens in the incubator. I got 11 baby chicks over here. I got nine chickens over here. And I got another eight on the way. All right, friends and family. Well, it's been an amazing day. It The weather was beautiful and a uh, little bit cool this morning, which made it for a bearable morning. Uh, got a few sprinkles. And uh, the moisture kept it from burning up when we were using the torches today. That was pretty fun to try that out. I'm really not that good at that. I'm going to need some practice. I do like to weld, so I'm going to need to learn how to cut. That was one thing I haven't learned. Uh, but We will be getting that trailer frame moved out soon. Hopefully we can figure out where we want to put it for a kind of a long-term storage maybe because we might not get to it right away. We got so many things. As, as this day comes to an end, it brings us one step closer to our home build. I am 
super excited about that and I'm looking forward to the new challenges that we'll be facing with this home build. Marcel and I have a little bit of experience here and there, so we'll be challenged in some new ways. But we're looking forward to it. We're always up again. Uh, we're always up for a new challenge. Um, sometimes things can be intimidating, but in the long run, if you don't try, I mean, you'll never know if you can do it or not. Like gardening. You know, I'm not really a gardener, you guys. I This is my first garden. <laughs> I uh, grew a couple plants before, but yeah, you just gotta give things a shot and see how they go. And with this house, it's a little more serious because it's our home. It's gonna be by, by the code. We definitely wanna build um, to code so that way, if we do wanna sell in the future, that it is an investment. Anyhow, I do believe that we're going to build in the same area now that we found out this is, that the septic is smaller, which could push our house over a little bit further, which would give us this as our front yard. That would be pretty amazing. Um, but we'll see you guys um, what happens with uh, the upcoming events, and we'll let you know. But, you guys, we're going to go ahead and close it up for the night. I got to go ahead and get hubby fed and the chickens put up. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.